I'm filming this on Valentine's Day and uh, Bobby's not home today. He went away. And so I'm alone on Valentine's Day. But don't worry, because thanks to the internet, I can grow a girlfriend to spend Valentine's Day with. I hope she's cute. Hmm, trigger warnings. It's probably fine. It's probably nothing. You're having your favorite nightmare. Yes, my favorite nightmare. <laughs> In it, you're dead. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I understand the trigger warning now. You see nothing, you hear nothing, you feel nothing, you think nothing. You simply don't exist. How wonderful. The heavy burden of life disappears. Oh, God. I was not ready. <laughs> Every night, the prospect of not waking up is a little more comfortable. Unfortunately, that won't happen today. Thank goodness. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna help today. We're, I'm gonna help you. Even though I know it's Valentine's Day and that tends to be even more depressing for people, but I'm here. <laughs> As you wake up, the first thing that you think of is the pressure. Today is a new day. You're supposed to make the most of it, but you just can't. This decision grants you both a brief relief from the expectations and disappointment in yourself. You need to distract yourself from these feelings. How about an impulse purchase? Yay! <laughs> Retail therapy. That always works. It's not like you'll need all the money your parents gave you for very long anyway. Oh no. <laughs> what does that mean? But what if I do need it later on? Hesitant as always. Don't worry, it's easier to just shut up and listen to me. Remember, there's no point to anything anymore. Yeah, okay. Oh, is this my brain? Is this my depression? Maybe get something you can grow since you'll never have children of your own anyway. And low maintenance. You're not very good at taking care of things. What kind of plant would enjoy your dark, dank dungeon? I don't know, nothing. Huh? You really are an idiot. Don't listen to him, me. Go on, do what idiots do and go ask the internet mommy for help. Love asking internet mommy for things. Well done. You did it. You searched for what grow goes in dark humid places, palaces. Oh, mushroom. Oh yeah, mushrooms. Look, you can buy a starter kit there. Surely you couldn't mess this up too, right? Uh, which one should I get? There's only one left. Wait a minute. Meat and eat. It's 18 plus and there's no refunds. Meat and eat is not responsible for death, injury, or oh, do not discuss death with the mushroom. What? <laughs> Are we gonna date a mushroom? I thought I was growing a girlfriend. I mean, I guess I could put a wig on it. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. It's my only option. I will get this mushroom. You're kind of cute. <laughs> Be honest, it's planned, isn't it? I am gonna fall in love with a friggin' mushroom, aren't I? Now all you have to do is go back into bed for a day and doom scroll until it arrives. Waiting for my mushroom. Oh, someone is at the door. The adrenaline wakes you up, setting your heart hammering as you cover yourself with the sheets. Yeah, it is terrifying when people <laughs> that you're not expecting knock on your door. Even if they're trying to drop off a package, don't knock the door, just leave the package. <laughs> Hello? I saw you had a package delivered to the reception, so I thought I'd bring it up to you. We both know you can't do this. You awake? I'm sorry. I'm leaving them by the door. Good luck with your um experiment. You hear your neighbor who, oh, they saw my mushroom box. Great, now my neighbors think I'm a weirdo. You hear your neighbor who after nearly a year, you still haven't met walk away. Oh, but they seem so nice. How can someone who never leaves their room meet some <laughs> someone? Sometimes you can hear the muffled sound of rock music when you're up late. He likes guitars and violins. You wish you had the courage to say hi. Oh, I wish you did too. He seems like he cares about you even though he's never met you. Oh, a note? Oh, oh, <gasps> okay, I am ready. <laughs> Button mushroom starter kit. Place in a bright and well-ventilated area. Okay, well, we don't have that. Spray water on exposed surface twice per day. I could do that. In four to five weeks, you will see the first signs of growth. For your safety, please consume before its end of lifespan. Okay. Oh, like before it goes bad. Right, huh? Is this right? It's like the exact opposite of what I thought a mushroom is supposed to like. Oh, I have to make decisions. <laughs> What would I do in this situation? I would probably follow the instructions because I don't know what I'm doing ever. I'm no mycologist. Why am I acting as if I know better? I'll just follow it step by step. Ventilation means airflow. That means you finally have to open up those curtains. Ugh. Open the- <gasps> This mushroom is making things better already. My retina's out. No, look at the sunlight. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get you out of this dark place. I, it's not easy. It's not an overnight fix, but just let's open the windows today. Whoa, it's actually a pretty nice day outside. 
Stop getting excited. You know you won't be getting out of here anytime soon. Actually, you should feel worse now that you know what you're missing out on. I mean, this is also a very fair emotion. Every time I'm like, the weather's so nice, but I wanna stay inside, then I feel bad about it because I'm like, it's nice outside. <laughs> Everyone's having a great day doing their stuff, but you're going to stay inside and do nothing. Go on, feel worse. Oh no. Oh, my inner thoughts every time. Take a deep, deep breath in and out, and then place the kid on the table. Nice and toasty by the window. Now the hard part, watering, the hard part. Think you could do that? <laughs> I hope so. Nice and wet. He, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that's so stupid. I thought you were funny. <laughs> Weeks of self-hatred pass, but you water your mushroom daily. I can't wait to eat this thing. Oh, oh, it's a giant mushroom. Hey, little guy, did you get a good night's sleep? Are you, I don't sleep, but thanks. Also, I'm kind of stuck. Can you pull me out? This is the mushroom. The mushroom's talking to me? Hello? Help, please? I'd really like to get out of here. It'd be nice to actually see something. Oh my god, there's something talking to me from inside the box. This has got to be the worst random social situation. I, or the best social situation. Nope. Can't present it. Nope. No, it said plea. I mean, it's being nice. What, are you, what else are you gonna do? I, uh, so I just do what exactly? Just grab my head and pull real hard. Okay. Yeah, get that mushroom out of the box. It's a girl. <laughs> What'd she look like? Oh, she's so cute! Oh, no, oh, no. Okay, so either, either. I have been alone <laughs> and going through mental struggles for so long that I am now hallucinating and I think my mushroom is a girl, but it's actually just a mushroom. Or I actually have a girlfriend mushroom person in my room. <laughs> I don't know which is more logical. Phew, thanks for that. Oh my god. It was so tight in there, ah, and really muffled, you know? H how did you even fit in that box? Ah, so this is what it looks like outside. I like your environment. <laughs> you're a talking mushroom, and you're my master, no! You're what? So what's your name? Oh, you can actually call me by my name now. I like to capitalize my name so I can easily see it in the text. <laughs> well then, Lauren, thank you for raising me. Uh, not so loud, please. Dearest Lauren, thank you oh so much. Thank you for raising me. Thank you for talking to me every day. And most importantly, thank you for... <coughs> water. <coughs> Do I spray her? You hardly spray water right at her. That seems to work. Hey, go. Better? Much better, thanks. Uh, not to change the topic, but how are you talking? What are you? How did you get so big? I don't know. I was pretty much was just born, so I don't know anything. Was I supposed to be this way? No. You were supposed to be small and many. <laughs> and I was supposed to eat you, but we're not going to tell her that yet. But I like how I am now. It feels right. As for what I am, I've already got a name. I can't say it. Ah, then just call me Button. Oh, what a cute name. You're talking to a mushroom. Are you non-ironically insane? Hold on, I need to check something on my laptop. I should have checked what this website was about from the very beginning. Check the about section. Bored, lonely, depressed, hungry. Yup. <laughs> Lifespan, three days. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get more depressed from this mushroom. Our signature choice, a lover that will co conform to all of your desires. Do whatever you please and receive a lovely meal at the end of it. What am I playing? What is, what is this? What the hell, what kind of messed up website is this? Button. Yes. The people who made you, they say stuff like, um, uh, they made you for gross things and to be eaten. <laughs> That doesn't sound so bad. What? I just want to have fun. Oh no. And I am a mushroom, so eat me whatever you want. <laughs> Grilled with butter and cheese in a saucy pasta. Why are you trying to make me hungry, Button? I do love mushrooms. <laughs> this is very awkward for me. Grilled with butter and cheese, that sounds amazing. In a saucy pasta, pasta, yes. A soup on a pizza, in a salad or a burger. Not to mention how nutritious I am. Low in calories, containing protein, fiber, and antioxidants. Some studies even show that I can reduce risk of Alzheimer's and cancer. I mean, sign me up. Isn't it wonderful how versatile my body is? I just can't wait to be consumed. And how are you just fine with getting eaten? You're sentient. Weren't you planning to eat me from the start anyway? 
Well, yeah, well, maybe, but but this is more than you were prepared to handle. It's kind of funny how you got yourself into this mess. You didn't even bother to check what it is you were buying. You can't just rot in your bed anymore. You've brought sentient life into this world. <laughs> you saw that website, right? Only alive for three days? Yikes, you'd hate if that were you. Ugh, what mess have I got myself into? I can't kick it out. I raised it. I talked to it for a month. Screw it, it'll be good for you. You know, you need a friend, and it's short term anyway. Whoa, why is it changing color outside? Yeah, it's the sunset, it, it does that. Uh, so look, do you wanna be lovers? <laughs> oh no. That website really wasn't kidding. They really are making and selling edible short term lovers. What is, what am I playing? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day? I don't know. This is why Bobby can't leave me for trips, okay? I end up growing a mushroom and then falling in love with it. Friends, yes or no? Uh, sure. I'm open to pretty much anything. So what do you wanna do, friend? I don't know. Oh god, day one. We have the countdown going. Well, one thing I really want to know about you is, what do you think of my form? Do I look pretty? No, no, it's not flirting, I promise. It's just like, when you tell your homies they're looking good. <laughs> okay, so is this what she like thinks up here in the corner? You're cute as a button. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> one could say you're as... never mind. You can do it. Try to say every word in order clearly but I'm gonna say something stupid. Say it, who am I gonna tell? No one. Ugh, one could say you're as c cute as a button there. Eek, how unbelievably adorable are you? How adorable are you? Ha, ah, your fragile masculinity really can't, does, didn't wanna hear that. Ugh, at least she looks happy. Now I'm excited to ask you something else. Go ahead. Fun fact. Did you know that button mushrooms are some of the most widely consumed mushroom types in the world? I prefer- Oh, that's so mean! Cool, but isn't that murder? I guess that's pretty cool. Yeah! But like, also, don't you feel weird about it? You're talking about consuming mushrooms. It's like discussing murder to you, isn't it? I'm meant to be eaten. What can I say? And I'm delicious. True, but still, are you really okay with dying? Yep, there's no need to think about it. Either I dry up and wither away, or I get to be a tasty meal for a love. I mean, friend. <laughs> wow, I'm honestly impressed. You're just following life's design. I don't even know what my purpose is. Purpose? Why are you thinking about that? Can't you just be happy doing stuff you like? Nope. Why? You really wanna know? Of course, I wanna know all about you. Oh no, I feel like it told me not to talk about death with the mushroom. But if somebody tells me not to do something, I usually have to do it on this channel. So share your opinion about life, death, and meaning. Even though the instructions told me explicitly not to. My biggest struggle is probably the concept of death. Because one day, poof, you're alive, whether you want it to be or not. And you figure out pretty soon that you'll die and disappear and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just expected to accept it and enjoy life, but every se- Look at her face! She's like, oh my god. Uh, every second is counting down to death. How can you just relax? Sometimes I wonder why everybody isn't screaming. As a kid, I was healthy and young, so didn't worry about it. I thought scientists would just discover immortality by the time I got older and we'd be all be fine. But now I know that's not going to happen. The world's too corrupt and everyone else has given up, so I have to. I'm gonna die and that's it. If I try to remember what it was like before I was born. That stillness and nothingness. I think death will be like that. I don't think it will be that bad, but it's still a lot of pressure to make the most of every day, especially when you can't do the bare minimum and leave your room. After a certain point of stress, doing happy things isn't enough anymore. <laughs> oh no, I changed her mindset. She's not happy. Oh, she was happy and I was like, no, I'm gonna ruin that for you. Sorry if I overshared, I don't know why. Are you okay? I don't know, this sudden feeling of dread just came over me. What you said, will we really just disappear? I won't be able to do anything anymore. Well, what did you think was gonna happen? It's natural. I didn't. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to make you miserable. Especially when you probably won't be living for very long. Oh God. Just stay happy and ignorant. Maybe that's for the best. It's hard to stop thinking. Why am I alive? Um, because I watered you? Then why did you choose me? Why me? <laughs> Do I tell the truth? Sure, everything else was already taken. Well, everything else was out of stock and you were the only thing still left over. Just a leftover? My thoughts are being loud again. Well, what what do they say? That I'm gonna die soon? <laughs> okay, this just took a turn. Oh God, her thought process is death now. I was not supposed to do this. I, I 
I'm feeling really panicked. I don't like this. How do I make the thought stop? This is why your friends hated you. You're such a disease. <laughs> Calm down. I know something that might help. What is it? Let's go outside. There's a field I know. It's a nice place, especially at sunset. Usually not too busy either. Nice if you want some peace. It's my um calming down spot. That sounds really nice. I want to see it. Fine, let's go. Stay quiet and follow me. <laughs> I love this little <laughs> graphic. <laughs> you and Button leave the dormitory without incident. Stroll down the sidewalk to the nearby field. She stares at everything. Buildings, sidewalks, recycling bins, cars. She even smiles and waves to passing people. Ugh. It's too obvious. It's embarrassing. You don't talk to her and you keep an appropriate distance so you can pass off as strangers. Many passerbyers compliment her cosplay. She beams back confusedly. You'll have to explain that concept later. You're just grateful nobody talks to you. Finally, you arrive at the field. There's only two kids and a dog playing at the opposite end of the field. As you gaze up at the orange tinted sky, you feel a, piece, a hint of peace. But you're also continuously keeping an anxious eye on Button. She watches the children from afar and mimics their play, rolling around on the hills and screaming with delight. Come roll with me, Lauren! Your clothes are gonna get dirty. Then get dirty with me! She tugs on the hood forcibly and you tumble sideways with her. Yep, you're dirty now, so you may as well join in. Both of you roll down the hill. Despite your initial dislike of the childish activity, you've got to admit, it's pretty fun. Then, while you're both lying down, catching your breath, the dog you noticed earlier comes over and sniffs Button cautiously. Help, it's eating me! I don't want to die yet! <laughs> Calm down, it's not dangerous, I promise. He's just sniffing you. You hold out your hand and the dog gives it a quick sniff too before returning to Button. What is this? Just a friendly dog. Try to pet him. Ooh, it's so fluffy. Why is he sniffing so much? Hee <laughs> hee. He's probably not sure what you are. Oh, we had a nice moment. The outside is amazing. How often a day do you usually go? How often a day? Uh, ugh, I just want to go out again. She looks happier. Less depressed, that's good. I'm glad you had a good time. What do you want to do now? Now, um, just lie down and recharge, honestly, if that's okay. Then let's lie down together. A little Snuggie will help you recharge. What? Ugh, I told you. Just as homies, I promise. <laughs> I don't have the energy for this, but before you can walk away, Button stops you. Wait, there's something I need to ask you. You're probably hungry after going out, huh? So I wanted to ask, are you planning to eat me tonight? We're just gonna save. <laughs> I am very hungry. <laughs> And I just want to know what would happen. I'm hungry. Oh God, where'd the music go? Where'd the music go? Where'd the music go? Where'd the music go? You are feeling pretty hungry after all that rolling. <laughs> but is that really, are we really gonna do it right now? I thought it was gonna talk me out of it. I don't know anymore. Okay, good. It's kind of scary. Could you not? Is that okay? Hey, I'm not a psychopath. Of course it's okay. Yay, I get to live. Oh, thank God. I thought it was about to happen. If you were gonna be that relieved, you shouldn't have offered in the first place. Uh, now I can look forward to going out more and seeing everything outside. There's so much, I can't wait. Whoa, 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 we never discussed this. I'm exhausted from today. I'd prefer if you could just take yourself out so I could rest tomorrow. But didn't you like it? You raised me, you're supposed to take care of me. I can't just go out there on my own, I need you. What about my needs? Aren't you being too forceful? I think you could do something as simple as walk around by yourself. Oh, I am being needy. I'm sorry. I'm just scared to be alone. I'm sorry for being bad at this. Wow, she's about to cry. Ugh, fine. I've done it once already, so it should be okay. Really? Thank you. You sure? You promise you can go out with me? It's just a few days anyway. Yeah. It's already nighttime. My first day is already over. I didn't realize how quickly time would pass. I understand what you mean meant earlier now. Even if I have fun, even if I don't, it doesn't matter in the end. It's getting closer. I I'm sorry for saying all, all that. I don't want to die. I've only just been born. Why can't I live longer like you? It's not fair. I don't want to die yet. Are you just going to sit there and watch her have a panic attack? Oh, oh no. We're oh no. This isn't gonna end well. Cause either I'm gonna end up eating her or she's just gonna end up dying in three days. And <laughs> why did I play this game? I've got you, just nothing matters. I can't, it's gonna be okay. It's not, I've only got two days left. I don't wanna disappear, please help me. Okay, first calm down, but I can't, it's getting closer. Let's breathe together, okay? Just breathe in deeply when I say go and hold it for eight seconds. Go, inhale and hold. Once more, Shh, I think I can hear your heartbeat. It's nice, I wanna listen to it more. Well, fine, I guess, you have my permission to listen. This is so sweet. It's a mushroom, <laughs> no. Lauren, why do you ha get to have more time than me? No one gets to choose how long they have. Who knows, I could even die tomorrow before you. Car crash, aneurysm, <laughs> boy, jeez. You at least won the miracle of getting 
any life at all. So I'd say you're pretty lucky. You have a safe home and a, a person who cares for you. You get to enjoy your life and do whatever you want. It's hard to feel very lucky right now. Who knows if death is really the end. It could be the extension of the adventure. Maybe you'll get reincarnated. But, and I can't solve the mystery of what happens after we die. But I can reassure you that you'll have a life worth dying for. Isn't that the important part? Yeah. Do you regret today going out? No. Do you think you'll enjoy doing it again tomorrow? Probably. Well then, that's what we'll do. We'll do lots of things together, anything and everything you want. Thank you, Lauren. Of course. Is there anything you still want to do today before I sleep? Mmm. You won't want to do it, but I want to. I still want to snuggle with you. Oh. I won't do anything weird, I promise. You can fall asleep. Just let me lie next to you. I won't do anything weird. I won't do any weird mushroom things to you. So, I'm not alone. Please? At the sound of impending tears, you agree immediately. It's okay. We can lie down together if it'll help. It will. Thank you. You lie down awkwardly in your bed, facing straight up, but lies down next to you, then looks at you. Sorry about this. No, it's okay. Is this fine with you? Could we hug? Well, you can't refuse after what she just went through. So you turn to her, open your arms, and button scoots right into them, placing her head on your arm. Oh, no. Oh, this is so sweet and wholesome, and it's gonna get ruined. You can feel her body move within your arms as she breathes. True to her word, she doesn't do anything but lie there quietly. You have a suspicion she's listening to your heart. Well, if it helps. Wait a second. Do mushrooms breathe? Why? As you ponder the oddity of the specimen in your arms, you feel... Button's breathing slow and any residual shaking, calm down. You start to relax too. You're glad she's feeling better. You'll probably forget all about this tomorrow. With Button in your arms, you don't even realize it, but you've fallen asleep. Strangely, there's none of your usual existential dread this morning. <gasps> she's making him feel better, but then she's gonna die and it's gonna get worse. <laughs> and as you open your eyes, Button? You're awake, hi! So it was real. Disappointing. It looks like you're in for another hard day. Hi, how are you doing? Much better, mostly. I'm just glad I'm not alone. Are you okay? I'm sorry if I ruined your night with all of that. No, no, it's just kind of felt weird, unreal, like I'd wake up at any minute, but you're here. Oh, sorry. Does that mean you don't want me to go out today anymore? No, no, we can. Really? Of course, I wouldn't break a promise I made for you. Thank you. Will you? Never mind. I shouldn't be so clingy. You've got other things to do. Do I, though? Oh. Oh, you can water yourself? That's convenient. Yeah. Can we go now? Yep. Do you think we'll see another dog today? I'll make sure you do. We're going somewhere even better than yesterday. Eek! Now I'm really excited. And so, trying to keep Button as happy as you can, you push aside your selfish desire to stay home. You leave Button down the sidewalk to the nearby park. It's a little busier than yesterday, since it's the middle of the day. You can't stand the attention that Button's outfit is gathering, the stairs. Focusing on breathing steadily, you shut out everything other than the way to the park, while Button walks quietly beside you. Finally, you arrive at the park. You immediately sit down at a bench while Button investigates the playground, intrigued by the, the slide in the swing. You feel anxious as you watch her try to play there, despite being a fully grown adult. She soon caught the attention of two kids on the slide, one of whom starts asking her what exactly is she supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. Can I play with you, please? I'm sorry, I didn't know how this how it works. The kids think she's weird and ignore her. Soon after, Button walks back dejectedly to the bench. Suddenly, she sits down next to me. Are you okay? I don't know. There's no point. No one cares about me. Hey, where's that coming from? Is it because of the kids? I don't know. You know the sting of rejection firsthand. Weren't you supposed to be cheering her up? Do you want me to play with you? The swing's free. Come on, let's go. Take Button's hand and lead her to the swing. She falls without resistance. Sit down and hold the chains while I'll push you. Button obeys, you stand behind her and push her. Her mood instantly lifts. Ah, it's, it's kind of scary, but fun. Thank God she's smiling. However, as you're watching her, a sudden wave of dizziness hits you. Oh, I just realized I don't think I've eaten for days. Oh no. Oh, will you be okay? Yeah, I just need to sit down for a second. We can go home if you want. I've already played on the swing and there aren't any dogs here either. That sounds much better than the stupid adventure. Your nausea is quickly getting growing worse. No, I shouldn't have neglected myself. We can come back after. No, it's fine. I don't want to come back here. She leaves without waiting for your resistance. I'm sorry. Oh no, she's thinking about death again. I'm gonna cook some ramen in the kitchen quick. Be right back. Smile, everything is okay. The outside is beautiful. Lauren cares about you. You don't need it to have meaning. It doesn't matter. If you're never going to live again, you can just uh, die tomorrow. I wonder if it's gonna hurt. Why can't I be happy? Oh, I did this to her. Button stands tensely in the center of the room while she waits. An odd compulsion overcomes her. Ugh, she slapped herself in the face. It doesn't hurt. Why? I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want tomorrow to come. She said, oh no, oh no, oh no. Her nails dig into her arms. Ah! Without you nearby, it's harder to ignore the thoughts in her head. 
I hate it. I hate it. Please come back. I'm just making ramen in the other room. Call me in the other room. Yeah, sorry for the wait. I had to figure out if I still had to cook it for three minutes or nine or if I could put it all at once, but sorry. Ignore my stupid excuses. Are you okay? Yes. I'm really sorry about earlier. I feel so bad. It's okay. Oh, uh, well, it's nice to see you smiling at least. Uh, I'm gonna eat now. How about we watch something together? Okay. At least Lauren is by your side. Oh no, this is Button talking to herself. She has an inner voice now. That's bad. As long as he thinks you're okay, he'll be happy. He doesn't like you when you're sad. He wouldn't want to be your friend anymore and you'd be alone. Uh, you okay? Huh? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, you had a weird look on, so I, uh, never mind. So I was wondering, I'd like to make it up to you. Is there anything in particular, particular you'd like to do? Anything at all, I'll try to make it happen. Oh, so I'm buttoned now? Um, no, I would like another nice hug again. <laughs> I... <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, no! She's getting... Oh, God. How's this? Good. So he's getting happier. And he's, like, transferring his sadness into her. And she's just absorbing it. You're replaceable. He's just going to order another one when you die. Does he even care? Or are you just pressuring him to care with your anxieties and your tears? Oh no, she has the evil in her voice now. He didn't want you from the start. He said it himself. Why are you del deluding yourself? Why are you believing him? When, when you know he's just doing it because he feels bad. Really, no one cares about you. So whenever you want a hug, I'll be here, just ask. Sure. By the way, aren't you thirsty? I thought you were supposed to be watered twice a day. There's this about the only thing that gives you pain are you sure you want to give that up? I'm good. You know yourself better than I do, so okay. Oh no, she's not taking care of herself now. Thanks for watching those videos with me earlier. It was really fun to share some of my favorites. You don't know what it is you watch. You just remember Lauren laughing. Yeah, it was really funny. Well, I'm gonna go lie down now, but I bet you're gonna want to cuddle again. No, I'm okay. Oh God, where's she? what's she gonna do? Uh, unexpected, what are you gonna go do? Oh no, that's her water meter! N not sure, maybe I'll look around, maybe I'll think. Okay. If you change your mind, mm, thanks, good night. I'm so scared. Don't leave her alone, no. All right, night, see you in the morning. Wait until he falls asleep. Oh God, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna be traumatized, aren't I? I'm gonna be so traumatized. This is all my, f oh no, what does this mean? Mm, I guess I'll, th this is probably what the trigger warning is for. <laughs> trigger warning. I don't know what's gonna about to happen. I'm very scared. Mm. Button? Button? Oh my god, what did I do? Are we having another Doki Doki Literature Club trauma moment? Let's see if I can show this on YouTube. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What happened? Oh, she's still... It didn't even hurt. What did you do? I'm, I'm so sorry. I should have realized. I thought you were doing better. I thought you said you were looking forward to today. So I just ignored my worries, but you're obviously not okay. She cut her hand off? I mean, I guess it's a mushroom. So I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this because we cut up mushrooms all the time. But now that she's personified, it feels weird. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not okay. I'm just broken now. Don't say that. You're just, it, it'll be okay. Liar. Uh, I want to leave, disappear, whatever. You can eat me now, Lauren, like you wanted. You're not in the right mind to be making a decision like that. A and your arm, why? You don't know what it's like feeling your body and mind start to shrivel. You're hurting? Mm, yeah. Now I can feel death closing in on me hour by hour. Can you imagine that? I can't just pretend I'm happy anymore. She laughs softly to herself. Oh God, she's gone crazy and she cut her arm off and I did this, I did this. I've ruined myself already, I may as well die. Button, I know what you're going through. I can help you get better, let's just hug and- I hate your hugs. No, don't say that, oh God. I'm sorry, I've become a bad person. No, you're not, it's okay, I'll forgive him a few angry words. But in return, can you please try to calm down with me? I promise it'll help. I know you mean well, but it's too late for me. I'm fine if I go now. You know I'm right, we're out of time. And as my last request, I'm too scared to do it myself. Could you help me? Oh my God, no, no, no. You still have time left. Even if it's just a little, you can't ask me to cut that short because there's still a possibility you could be happy again. It's hopeless. Happiness doesn't want me back. I just want to die. It's my only escape. No, it gets better. I promise you, please. You're not listening. You would have eaten me tonight anyway. There's no point. But right now we could still maybe have some fun. It, it could end on a good note. I tried, but I'm tired and I hurt. Why won't you just help me already, please? No, oh, it switched. It tried to trick me. No, 
Oh god. Oh, this is getting darker. Why won't you help me? You're the only one who can. I can't. You're being selfish. I deserve to choose when I die. No! <laughs> no! You're just emotional! You just you just need to take some deep breaths! If you just calm down, stop telling me what to do! I hate this! Please stop shouting, I can't help you if- Don't talk me out of this! Will you help me or not? No! No! I keep trying to find the no! Fine. I'll d what? What? I did I press the wrong thing?! Oh. You mean it? I do. I just- I guess I just don't want you to go. You were the first thing in a long time that's brought me any joy. But this isn't about me. Oh god. Thank you. Those words sting your ears. Immediately she holds out the- <laughs> No! This time you take it. You move closer and try not to be sick. But this isn't about you, remember? Just listen to her. Just get this over with. Am I gonna eat her after this? You'll just need to cut- Oh my god! I'm ready. <laughs> no. No. I'm so traumatized now! I'm sorry it was like this button. I'm not sorry, I'm just grateful. Goodbye. You guys can just breathe. I can't, I can't, I can't breathe myself. I can't. You can't stop your hands from shaking. You can't look away from her smiling face. You don't know why this had, had to happen, but it's over. Now you understand how it feels to be surrounded by sadness. Why people stop talking to you. Because in a horrible way, you feel glad that she's finally got- Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Glad to be alone again! Where did you learn? What, alone with me? No, this is the worst ending of a game I could have possibly ever gotten! It's all because I talked about death. And eight? There's eight endings? Oh my god. Is this the one ending I got? There's nine endings? I just went back in time to see. I think I might have accidentally not clicked no. Yeah. Oh god. What? Yeah, I accidentally- <laughs> I accidentally pressed not no. What do I press? Oh, it's counting down. What's happening? Oh god! Did I miss it again? Okay, I think I hit not the right thing last time. No. I can't, okay? Oh my god, I finally did it. I finally got to say no. I just can't do it! I hate you. It's not your fault, is it? You tried so hard. Maybe the next mushroom will be a better one. You open up your laptop once more. We're getting another mushroom? <laughs> another mushroom girlfriend? I got another ending. All right, here's our next mushroom girlfriend. <laughs> Good number two. I wonder if we could let her survive this time. Okay, let's not talk about death to the mushroom this time. Uh, maybe that's a little too heavy. Let's just say I overthink. That's silly. Just don't overthink and you'll be happy like me. Um, so speaking of living life to the fullest, can we do something outside with the pretty sunset? Because this room is really tiny and I'm getting really bored. Okay, so we go to the park again. We're gonna try and keep her happy and get a happier ending. <laughs> Bring her to the park. Okay, now we're back at home after the park and it says, should I eat her now? I'm gonna say no this time. Oh, and instead we didn't go to bed. I just said you spend the rest of the night watching some funny animal videos from your laptop on your bed. Button's reactions make you laugh harder than the videos. It's really nice just talking with her about something as trivial as animals. Oh, that was a nicer night. At some point, without realizing it, your eyes drip closed. Okay, now we're going back to the park because it's day two and she's very happy. <laughs> we're doing better this time. Oh, I said I was hungry again. and She goes, want to bite me? I can survive without an arm. Is that why she cut off her arm last time? No, I'm going to just sit down. Worry not, Button has located sustenance. Oh, she's so much happier. Button sprints over to the nearby hot dog stand and begins chatting to the lady working there. No, no, you need money. I heard you're not feeling that great. Don't worry, it's on the house. She promptly hands you a fresh hot dog. How did you do that? How did you just... I just told her you were dizzy and hadn't eaten in a long time. And then she took a long look at you and said, you certainly looked sick. Did I do well? I got you food. Yeah, thanks, Button. You make everything look so easy. Bite into a fresh steaming hot dog. However, Button stares at you with pain etched across her face. But why? Why kill something so cute, so innocently adorable? It's awful. Are you talking about yourself? I don't have to. No, you know I want you to eat me. <laughs> I mean the dogs, the one you're eating right now. Oh, bless her. <laughs> 
No, no, they're not actually made of dogs. We just call them that. Don't lie to me. I mean, they are made of pigs, which are just as adorable as dogs, um, but we're not gonna tell her that right now. You feel a bit better after eating something and Button leaves to go play with a Dalmatian that just entered the park. She's just having the best short lifespan. Oh, look at her! Oh, look how cute the mushroom looks in the corner. Okay, spray her with water. Revitalization complete. Thank you. You said you were still hungry. Are you gonna eat me tonight? She's kind of okay with it, I think, right now. So if I say okay, we'll... Or no, I think I said okay last time and she asked if she could live another day. I'm sorry. Don't be. Remember our first interaction? Retract your sorry. Sorry retracted. It's just, it was fun. Thank you for being so nice. I don't know how I'm gonna eat you, but... Grilled with butter and garlic. Oh my God, is it actually gonna happen right now? That way you'll get a very pure but yummy taste. Lauren, I really enjoyed these past two days, but I've noticed that you get really stressed sometimes. So just know that I think you're pretty cool. I really hope I've been able to help you relieve, relieve some stress a little. I think that was my original purpose. And I hope you really you enjoy eating my body. Why are you like this? Thanks too, Button. May I make a request? Yeah. Can we hug? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh God, <laughs> you hug each other tightly. It's sad, but it doesn't feel as horrible as you thought it would. And to your utter surprise, Button even presses a light kiss on your cheek. Did I really just eat? And then you fetch without any hesitation, zero. She closes her eyes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Am I cooking? Everything I do in this game is traumatic. We had a lovely time. She stopped responding after you chopped off the rest you seal in plastic bags to use over the next few days. You dice the mushroom flesh, flesh and saute it with butter, garlic, and herbs. That sounds delicious. I don't know how to feel during this entire thing. You salivate at the aroma, and when you finally taste it, its juices spread over your tongue instantly anticipating your mournful thoughts. It's terrifying to think about the ethics of what has just transpired. Uh, yes. <laughs> but you think you did a good job with her overall. She said she was happy, right? Ending five, that's yummy no cap. Oh my God, Jesus. Hey guys, I bought another mushroom girlfriend from the internet and this time we're not gonna eat her on day two because we've never made it to like an actual day three. What? No, that's unnecessary. If I'm hungry. Yeah, it was unnecessary. You have food. Why not? I'm right here. I just want to hang out with you more. It seems you're getting attached to me, Lauren. That's very dangerous. Yeah, as I've learned. I admit it. You're more fun to have around than I thought. Whoa, are you confessing? What? No, of course you'd think that. But I just want to hang out. I really have to do it, don't I? Is there no way you don't have to die tomorrow? Well, it's either that or I like dry up in a very painful, slow process. Oh God, there's no happiness in this game. So yeah, I'll take getting eaten over that. Yeah, I guess I would too. So what now? I'm actually craving a pizza. I haven't had one since I lived with my mom. Ugh, but I don't want to make the call. Why not? It's embarrassing. I'm scared of talking over the phone. Sometimes I forget my order or address or how to even talk because I'm so nervous. They can't hear me. I once made a conversation tree of every possible response so I could just follow that instead of having to worry, but nope. In the heat of the moment, I forgot to read. Sorry, I'm rambling and it's probably boring. Why don't I order for you? You've never used a phone before in your life. But it's just like talking, only you can't see each other, right? I'm good at talking. Woohoo, pizza is coming. Thanks, Button. I couldn't have done that. You're welcome. You chat and chill until the phone rings, signaling the arrival of the delivery man. Pizza obtained, you return to your room. As you lift open the flap of the pizza box, you lean your face in and sniff deeply. That's when you realize that something is horribly wrong. No, what's wrong? It's the wrong order. I was so excited for my special quadruple cheese, but this just isn't it. What is it? Some randos order. There's feta, olives, pesto, sundar, ugh. You don't like it? It looks really good. Oh, she made him try the pizza. Now it's his new favorite. See, try new things. What's anime? What's anime? Oh boy. Oh, we got a long night ahead of us. You decide to stay up all night with her since it's her last one. Pizza, anime, and both of you in bed laughing together. It's a wonderful night. Night. Even though you tried to stay up, you drift off. Oh no, it's the last day. Okay, we're watering her for the last time. Can I make a special request today? Uh, sure. Take me to the beach. Oh, we haven't gone here yet. Not my favorite place, honestly. It's kind of uncomfortable. No problem. You can stay under the nice cool shade of the umbrella, just like the one character in the anime. Oh, so you got to the beach episode, huh? The thought of the beach gives you a headache. The sand, the sun, the wind, the people, the expectation to undress. Normally you would say no, but this is day three. Ah, fine. We'll stop by the shop and get you a swimsuit and some ice cream for me too. Woohoo! Yeah, 
where they go to the beach. Ah, oh, this is amazing! The sand feels so hot and fluffy, but the wet part is cold and hard. It's because when the sand gets wet, it compresses and she's gone. It's a pleasant day and the beach is relatively empty, since who goes on a Wednesday morning? You find the perfect base camp and dig up a hole to set up the umbrella. Lounging on a towel, you eat your ice cream. I mean, it seems like the best last day ever. All the while, Button runs around with the water on the shoreline. But after a little while, she coerces you to just try to swim with her. Oh, we just had the best day at the beach together. You end up watching the sunset together. Oh no. She looks really happy. You feel proud of yourself. Yeah, look how happy she is in the corner. Peak happiness, I've achieved it. She leans her head on your shoulder. With her snuggled beside you, it feels like nothing is wrong anymore. Glancing at her, you notice for the first time how her hair shifts from light to dark brown. Sometimes you forget that she isn't a human. Even her eyes twinkle with playful mischief, and her mannerisms are so lifelike, so appealing. That's when it hits you. You're atta attracted to her. Maybe it was her spunky, fun personality that drew you out of your hole. Maybe it was how she showed you that you don't need to feel guilty for having fun. Maybe it's how you admire her self-strength and her simple yet resolute goal to have fun in life. She's pretty hot, dude. That bikini. <laughs> Either way, you have the insatiable desire to draw her face near and kiss her. <gasps> Do it! I can't believe I'm wanting a character and a mushroom to make out. Yes, do it. This is like the best ending I could probably have. The saddest, but the best. Kiss her. Hey, uh, I know I said I wanted to be friends, but is it okay if I kiss you? Wait, really? You want to kiss me? Y yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, please kiss me. Finally. I mean, she's going to die. Give her her first kiss. <laughs> her enthusiasm makes you smile. So this is what it feels like to like someone. It makes you weirdly nervous. Button, exasperated by the delay, grabs your face, leans in, presses her lips gently against yours. A few seconds later, she pulls away, smiling mischievously. And so the afternoon ends. The beach trip takes the whole day, but it was a great one. Ugh, finally home. I've got sand quite literally everywhere. The beach was amazing. You enjoyed it too, right? Our last day? Oh, yep, that's right, our last day. Yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Honestly, it might have been my favorite day ever. Oh, these last few days have been amazing and I'm truly grateful to you. But I feel really tired more and more. Like, I'm being drained in a way. I think it's time for me to go. Like, now? Yes. Do you have to? Don't worry. I've had a great life. I couldn't have asked for a better friend than you. Is that really true? You only took her to the field, a park, a beach? What about the cinema, festivals, dances, fireworks, amusement parks? If you had been more proactive, she would have been happier. You were the one holding her back. Stop it. I know what you're doing. Hush, I'm about to give you the reality of things. You've made me a very happy mushroom. If not for you, I like you would have ended up as many of my sisters staying at home, tending to their masters. Not necessarily a bad life, but I'm very glad it wasn't me. I'm ready, Lauren. You can trust me on that. <laughs> She's ready. I'm not ready. I want you to live. What if I eat you tomorrow and we can go out again? I've already passed my peak and now it's starting to hurt more and more every hour. I love the beach, but all that salt water probably wasn't the best idea. I feel really weird. It's okay. I'm ready to die. I always have been, remember? No, not okay. I can't. Do you want me to suffer? No. Are you so eager? You think I want to die? You think I'm not scared that I haven't thought about it? I'm going to die whether I like it or not. Either a quick death by your hand and I nourish you, or I slowly run away. At least let my death be meaningful. Just one more day. Can't we just try? I don't want to. I want to stop fighting. I want the pain to stop. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've done it so many times. You're like my third girlfriend. <laughs> Like, I know it's hard. I'm... No. No, I can't. I need you. We can still go out tomorrow, even if I need to carry you. Please, Button, I beg you. Please don't cry. Please, Button. You're making this really hard for me. I'll try for you. Just please. If it hurts too much, you need to... You hold Button in your arms while you sleep, but you're stirred awake. Oh, no. Day four. Oh, I didn't know this exit. Please kill me. Button? Oh, God! Button! Oh, no. Oh, my God! It hurts so much. Please kill me, Lauren. Why is every time I try to get some sort of ending that's happy, it never works out? I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Please kill me. I have thought that's my only option. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Button. She's dead. Great. I can't even eat her now. What have you done? You're so ashamed that you can't bring yourself to eat her. You're not even crying because she's dead. You're crying because you, you're you scared she doesn't forgive you. I don't know which ending's worse. Oh, 
God, they're all terrible. I need to get a happy ending. I mean, like this would be the only happy ending then, right? Cause I like fulfill, she's happy. We're both happy. And now I fulfill her last wish. I'll do it. I'm gonna miss you. Oh wait, this is for you. Oh God, she gave me a picture of us, the dog. Ah. It's so you, I love it, thank you. I knew you would. I drew it while you slept. <laughs> I don't know what awaits me on the other side. It's scary, but thanks to you, living was worth time for. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> then she presses a sweet kiss against your cheek. It's so nice. He gives her a cheek and returns. She smiles. Oh God! Together, oh no! <laughs> it's just white inside mushroom. That's its food. She's never been human. You watch in morbid horror as her eyes blank and her lingering smile finally fades from her lips. You just hold her. <laughs> just in case she can still hear you. Now you have to carry out her wishes. <sighs> Someone you love can be so nauseatingly delicious. You gorge yourself. Nothing will be wasted. Nothing. Every bite is succulent, tender, popping with warm juice beneath your teeth and you remove her from existence one... Heavenly repulsive gulp at a time. Perhaps it's a little salty. Maybe from the ocean. Maybe from your tears. But in a way, it's like tasting that happy memory. You don't think you could ever go back to your old ways in the span of just a few days. Someone with a beautiful heart came and went, leaving hope in her wake. And you don't feel bad that she's gone. You just feel like maybe everything isn't so bad after all. Like maybe you can knock on your neighbor's door after all. Goodbye button, my new. I think that's the happy, the happiest ending that I'm gonna get. And now it's the main character's not sad anymore. And maybe we'll go out into the world again. I'm sad. I'm absolutely devastated. <laughs> Never eating a mushroom again, ever, ever. No more mushrooms for me.